Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this week's sort of calorie crush video. I thought this week I would do what is essentially going to be a recap video on the journey so far. My reason for deciding to do this is because it is now two and a half years since I made this video. This video was it's time to talk about something and it was me addressing the fact that I had reached 27 stone just over and that I need I needed to finally finally do something about my weight and I say finally because obviously I had tried for many many years to do something about my weight but I'd never really tried hard enough and the reason I thought it'd be a good idea to do a recap is because along those two and a half years my channel has grown my viewership has changed some of the people who were here two and a half years ago aren't here anymore. Some of the people who are here now haven't been here very long. And the result of that is that I get asked what, to me, seem to be silly questions. And please don't take offence at me saying that. By silly questions, I mean questions that I think people already know the answer to. So, for example, somebody says... Have you thought of joining Slimming World? Or have you have you tried hypnotherapy? Do you take any exercise? Various things that I think, well, surely you guys already know this. I've talked about this a hundred times before. Surely you know this. And, and of course, the reason is that some people are new viewers. Some people are new viewers. Of course, you don't know this. You're obviously not going to sit and watch back through a back catalogue of two and a half years of calorie crush videos to find out the answer to has she tried Slimming World? So I thought I would do a little recap video of the journey so far. Also, I thought what I'd do is I'll put in a little list of all the things, the salient points that I'm going to cover in this, and then they'll pop up at the beginning of future calorie crush videos so that any new viewers can have those questions answered for them and, and, and will be up to speed, so to speak. So I am, I'm Carla, for anyone who's new, I'm nearly 50 years old, I'll be 50 years old in July, and I have been overweight most of my adult life. Not as overweight as I finally got to be, but gradually overweight. I was a skinny kid, I was a really, really skinny kid, a painfully skinny child, the kind of kind of skinny where other parents say, is she not very well? That kind of skinny. And at 12 I hit puberty, and additionally we moved to a sweet shop, and I began to gain weight at that point. I had two children, I gained weight with each pregnancy, I gave up smoking, I gained some more weight, I learned to drive, I gained a bit more weight. And gradually over time it crept up and crept up and I would always, I'd, I'd keep on, people, one of the things people ask is, have you tried Slimming World? I went to Slimming World for years, I was a serial rejoiner, never lost more than one and a half to two stone. Two stone was my absolute personal best at Slimming World and all the many, many times that I joined, many, many classes I went to, never lost more than two stone. The Slimming World plan doesn't work for me long term. I tried Weight Watchers. The Weight Watchers plan wasn't right for me either. I've tried the recommendation for diet and exercise from the doctor. That wasn't right for me either. I don't want to use the phrase doesn't work. I don't like using the phrase doesn't work about any other healthy eating plan or whatever. It just wasn't right for me. And so two and a half years ago, I tried calorie counting and something clicked and it worked and it worked beautifully and it was an absolute dream. And I lost weight consistently for six to eight months really really well really well i got to the point where i'd lost over seven stone seven and a half stone i think i nearly got to and i don't know when the balance ticked over i think i became a lot more mobile i became a lot more mobile a lot of my pain receded i could buy smaller clothes i felt like i'd achieved and so i stopped trying so hard because i had achieved and so that's where we are now. I've regained, of the seven and a half stone that I lost, I've regained about two, two and a bit stone. Maybe even two and a half stone. I'm not sure without doing the calculation. I'll do the calculation and put it there. And so that's where we are. So some of the recurrent questions are, have you ever thought of hypnotherapy? I have tried various hypnotherapy in the past, although I haven't tried going to an actual registered accredited hypnotherapist, but I've tried all of the ones you can do at home. I've tried all of those and I haven't had much success with those. Have you tried any of these new apps? I haven't tried any of these new apps, although I have been looking at them and I'm considering them, but I haven't tried them. Did you know that the reason that you're in pain is because you weigh too much? Yes, I do know that. I'm not stupid. I am far from stupid. However, I am stubborn and willful. 
and and I react badly to being told what to do. I always have. And so I rebel not only against other people, but also against myself. And that's something I, I deal with constantly. Why do you make these videos? I make these videos, I made them in the first place because I knew I was going to embark on a weight loss regime and at the time I was vlogging, I was, do, I was a daily vlogger, I was doing the weekly waffle, I vlogged every day of my life and I put it out as a, as a weekly video and I knew that people would notice that my eating habits were going to change and they'd notice me losing weight and I knew people would ask questions and so I thought I'll do a video and I'll talk about it. And then I thought, perhaps if I do a video every week, it'll help me stay on track. And so I did a video every week and it did. It helped me so much. It helped me stay on track. It was brilliant. And one of the things that helped me stay on track was fear of failing. Because once you once I'd started that, that ball rolling of succeeding at something, I didn't want to fail publicly. And so it kept me going until I did fail publicly. Until I put some weight back on. Until it became less easy. And then once I had failed publicly suddenly it was really easy to carry on failing and the, the fear of public failure had been taken away because I'd already done that why do I carry on making the videos one of the reasons I carry on making the calorie crush is because on the weeks that I don't I get a lot of messages from various people in various places asking me why and I know that those messages come from a good a good place I know that they are sent from a good place but they feel they make me feel very pressured into continuing with the calorie crush the other reason I try and carry on with the calorie crush is because I fear what will happen if I stop I fear that if I stop making the videos I will regress completely and put back on all of the weight I've lost so it's it's, it's a kind of a, a way to keep on applying the brakes on my compulsive eating something else that people talk about I, I, I think People misunderestimate how much I know myself. So I know that I'm a compulsive eater. I've learned over the last two and a half years that I am a very much a triggered comfort eater. I don't think I really accepted that before. I think I thought I just like food. I like bad food. But I've accepted over the last couple of years that I am a triggered comfort eater. That something triggers me and I spiral out of control. I didn't ever think of myself as a binge eater and now I know that I am a binge eater. I know that I, I realise now, I recognise now that a binge doesn't have to be enormous quantity of food to still count as a binge. Eating four Mars bars in one sitting is a binge. It's not a huge binge, but it is a binge. Just realised that I went out in the rain and my hair's looking a bit frantic, so sorry about that. So I have accepted that I'm a binge eater. I know now that I'm a comfort eater. I know, I, I can see now what triggers me. I know that I react badly to stress by reaching for bad food, that I react badly to confrontation by reaching for bad food. And again, I do know that there are no bad foods. There is only bad quantities of all foods. So the recap is that I have tried various other slimming things. I have tried hypnotherapy. I have tried the lots of things that people suggest every week and the only thing that ever really ticked for me was calorie counting so I intend to carry on counting calories because that's the only one that ever really clicked in for me oh, so, oh sorry something else that people ask a lot of the time is could you be menopausal and again I, whenever I read that question I think well you know I'm menopausal I've said it many times but of course if you're a new viewer you don't know that so I am perimenopausal I am on HRT which I've been on for about four or five weeks now I am starting to feel a difference with the brain fog the brain fog is lifting I'm starting to feel less fatigued I don't know if the joint pain is easing but I've taken various other supplements for joint pain as well because people often suggest supplements that they think will help got a box on the go with all of my little supplements and bits and bobs that I take I do attempt to um, look after that side of things it's funny when I started this video I had a whole list of things that I wanted to mention and I've forgotten most of them because I've still got that part of menopause going on and that brings me to this week's fresh start again another fresh start i got on the scales this morning i weigh on the scales this morning 309 pounds that is another three pound increase that's two three pound increases two weeks running i know why i've eaten a lot of easter chocolate this week for absolutely no damn reason apart from the fact that it existed and i existed and if me and the chocolate were going to exist in the same hemisphere i was going to consume it and that's how this week was so yeah this week looks like another gain and i need to draw a line so i've spoken to my best friend Tammy and my daughter Natalie, who are 
the two people who I misbehave most around, and that, that sounds as though I'm blaming them, and I'm absolutely not blaming them, but Tammy and I will happily derail each other off of any healthy eating plan, and I think Natalie and I are going the same way. So all three of us are still trying to get some weight off. Natalie's trying to lose weight, I'm trying to lose weight, Tammy's trying to lose weight. So I've spoken to both of them, and we've agreed that we're all going to try a bit harder not to derail each other. And all I can do is keep on keeping on. I know I've said this so many times, and some people will be watching this going, oh, same old, same old, keep on keeping on, gonna have another go, are we? Yes. Yes, because what's the other option? The other option is not having another go. The other option is carrying on gaining the weight, put all the weight back on and end up bed bound or completely immobile. I talked about my knees last week and a few people said, you know, have you been to the doctor? Yes, I've been to the doctor. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sitting at home suffering and thinking, oh, why isn't it getting any better? I've been to the doctor, I'm waiting for referrals. I have to have a referral for physiotherapy and I don't know how long the wait list is and I don't know how long before I should push and say, why am I still waiting? But yes, I've been to the doctor. No, I haven't got prescribed medication for it. At the moment, they're telling me to manage it with ibuprofen and paracetamol. I've got pain gel that I apply, but I, even that's not prescribed. Unfortunately, I have a doctor who is very much weight focused. And I'm not saying that doctors shouldn't be weight focused in any way, but my doctor believes that every ailment will be cured if you just lose weight. And having pointed out to her that I did lose seven stone and my almonds weren't cured, didn't seem to make any difference. <laughs> I believe I've begun to ramble, which is not really surprising. I'm 12 minutes in, I've begun to ramble. But yeah, this was, the idea was that I would do a recap video for anyone who is new around here, for anyone who doesn't know my story. So, oh, another thing, I have calculated my calories properly using a TDE calculator. Somebody, again, who last week, I think must have been a new viewer, said, oh, have you worked out your calories? This is, this is how you work out your calories. And I realised that for anyone coming in, they'd see that I haven't lost any weight according to the weight loss board and perhaps I didn't know what I was doing but the reason I haven't lost any weight according to the weight loss board is because I decided I would have a fresh start this year and I took off all of my previous progress I'm still five and a half stone ish five stone I'm still five stone down from where I started originally but I have regained some and so I took my progress off and told myself I'd have a clean sheet a fresh start we would ignore previous progress and we'd start again that's why it looks as though I haven't lost anything and that's why people might be thinking perhaps she doesn't know how to do this I know how to do it I just don't know how to make myself do it so that's it it's it's it that's that this video is just supposed to be a recap of who I am where we are where I am on this journey I hate the word journey and hopefully we'll answer a few of the questions that people have been asking people who might be new and again like I said I'm going to put a, a slide into the beginning something that looks like this into the beginning of each calorie crush video from now on just to cover the salient points and then and then people will will know where I am and what's going on so 309 pounds let's hope <laughs> let's hope again <laughs> let's all hope again that I come back a little bit lighter next week take care bye for now